Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for July 3rd. The scripture says, He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him, and he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. Job 33 and verse 26. No cry from a soul in need, though it fail of utterance in words, will be unheeded. Those who will consent to enter into the covenant relation with the God of heaven are not left to the power of Satan or to the infirmity of their own nature. There are few who rightly appreciate or improve the precious privilege of prayer. We should go to Jesus and tell him all our needs. We may bring him our little cares and perplexities as well as our greater troubles. Whatever arises to disturb or distress us, we should take it to the Lord in prayer. When we feel that we need the presence of Christ at every step, Satan will have little opportunity to intrude his temptations. It is his studied effort to keep us away from our best and most sympathizing friend. We should make no one our confidant but Jesus. We can safely commune with him of all that is in our hearts. Every sincere prayer is heard in heaven. It may not be fluently expressed, but if the heart is in it, it will ascend to the sanctuary where Jesus ministers, and he will present it to the Father without one awkward, stammering word, beautiful and fragrant with the incense of his own perfection. If we would only take the Lord at his word, what blessings might be ours? Would that there were more fervent, effectual prayer? Christ will be the helper of all who seek him in faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you for this new day and yet another reminder of how prayer is a powerful tool for the Christian. It is a tool, it is a reference, it is a resource. Help us, please, to spend time in prayer. Forgive us, we pray, of our sins and how we are distracted from you unto other things that have nothing to do with building our relationship with you and really Sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with um, addressing our goals and trying to move forward in the next phase of our life. A lot of times if we really sit down and think about it, we spend time on social media and we're scrolling and scrolling and looking at this and looking at that. And before you know it, five minutes could turn into an hour or two, sometimes even more. And these are precious moments that are now lost. Help us to take time to be holy. Help us to spend time with you. Help us to know that we can bring anything to you. You will not stop loving us. You will not turn from us. You will be there to comfort us and to help us to keep pressing forward. You have also given us humans that we can speak to about our defects of characters. We could bring our sins and those personal things to you. And then those whom we can trust, we can talk to about the defects of our characters. We could pray with that person. Help us, Lord, to spend time in prayer. Help us to choose you over social media and over other things that's taking our time, but it's not helping our Christian development. Cleanse our hearts, we pray. Forgive us of our sins once again. Your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.